Welcome back to New Record Day. My name is Ron, and today we are doing another review of the Lehman Audio Black Cube Statement Phono Preamplifier. And folks, this thing is full of surprises. The Lehman Audio Black Cube Statement is a high end moving magnet and moving coil phono stage that offers a solid aluminum enclosure, high quality gold plated RCA connectors, and an external power supply. Input amplifier gain stage is handled by Burr Brown 2228 dual op amps and features a passive filter network between the amp stages which eliminates phase issues found in some active designs. The external power supply can be placed up to 2 meters away from the audio section which does help with reducing noise keeping the bad stuff out and the good stuff in just the way we like it. For the most part, this is a pretty boring little box and won't be something that your friends will be jealous of, but let me be the first to say, looks can be deceiving, and this little monster proved to me that it had a lot more to offer than I ever expected or even hoped for. Turning the statement over, you are greeted with little dip switches that allow quick changes for gain and loading, and we will get more to that in a moment. Speaking of gain, moving magnet fans will have gain options between 31 and 41 decibels, while moving coil junkies can expect settings between 51 and 61 decibels. So we have plenty of gain options, but what about the loading options? Well, I'm happy to report that the common options of 47K, 1K, and 100 ohms are ready to rock right out of the box with the addition of tossing in your own resistors and an empty slot inside the chassis, well at that point, you just stepped into a wild world of choices. Those guys and gals over at Lehman Audio are pretty dang clever. Add in the fact that you have jumper options for a bass filter that cuts six decibels per octave, and you now have a formidable little prize fighter that hits way beyond its weight class. Okay, so I've heard some pretty nice phonos since I have started New Record Day, and having moved from my built-in phono section of my Rogue straight to the JC3, I really missed the boat of what's in between. I mean, can a $450 phono preamplifier really keep up with the most demanding audiophile and keep them satisfied without the desire to upgrade? I really had to take a step back and do some comparisons with this little black box that actually made sense. So I started with the 2M Red and compared this with my Rogue Audio's built-in phono section. Right off the bat, I can assure you with full confidence that the Lehman Audio was quieter and seemed to have more to offer in the bass region. As I listened more and more to the Lehman, I realized something strange was happening. And that realization was that I didn't really miss having my JC3 plugged into my system. Tossing on the Jackson 5's ABCs proved to me that while the statement doesn't cross the finish line of detail, being first place, it certainly didn't quit the race halfway through. Anything that was well recorded really popped and from top to bottom, the black cube does just about everything right. As I changed cartridges and tossed in my Gradle Platinum 1, I experienced the same thing all over again. Great sounding music with very little to complain about, especially at the asking price. Treble on the Lehman Audio would be its weakest link in my listening test, but certainly didn't make me feel uncomfortable enough to spend the next 45 minutes rambling on and on about it. While listening to a couple of tracks, I just noticed that there was less detail than what I was hoping for and sometimes a little exaggeration in cymbal hits and splashes where things just lost a little bit of control. However, this was rare and really was material dependent, so take this criticism with a grain of salt. Midrange was good enough to please me in every possible way, ranging from vocals to electric guitars. The Lehman brought warmth when needed and never sounded thin, boring, or grainy. Details on acoustics were there and listening to Ben Howard's Every Kingdom was a listening session that I would happy to repeat over and over again without ever feeling the need to get up and do something else. That's right, the Lehman audio gets your attention and it holds it. Bass is where this guy really likes to kick things up a notch and it surprised me at just how much horsepower is actually under the hood. While my JC3 offers 47 decibels on the MM setting and the recently reviewed Pass Labs XP15 jumps in at 46, this little box shocked me at just how reasonable it is to have 41 decibels to work with. Well folks, there you have it. The Lehman Audio Black Cube Statement is a fantastic sounding phono preamplifier, especially when we consider the price of admission. 
Sure, we could start nitpicking little things like, well, I don't like the way that it looks. You know, that box isn't all that cool. Or, you know, it comes with that wall warp power adapter. That possibly can't be good, right? Oh, it's using op amps. You know, what about MOSFETs and JFETs? Listen, leave that to the knucklehead audio files in the forums. That's where they belong. At the end of the day, Duke Ellington once said, if it sounds good, it is good. And I'm here to tell you, the Lehman Audio Black Cube statement fits the bill. Louis Dorio, thank you so much for sending us this amazing piece of equipment. We definitely appreciate it. And you, sir, are most welcome here at NewRecordDay.com. Thank you so much for stopping by. Leave us the comments. Shoot us the emails. You guys know the drill. Take it easy. It's using op amps. What about JFETs and MOSFETs? Sure, we could start mitten. Is it using op amps? Is it using JFETs? Is it using...